Hey guys, what is up? And today we're going to be learning how to make a 3D space shooter game in Scratch. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really epic series. It's going to be super cool. So, yeah, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. And let's just get right into it. So first, just open a new tab in Google and search up space ships. Oh, wait. And also, you want to search up spaceships pixel art. I mean, you don't have to do pixel art. I love pixel art, though, because it gives the coolest effect. And I spelled that wrong too. Um, you could do spaceships pixel art, or you could do uh, spaceships vector. You know, vector. And like vector images also look really cool. So, yeah, but the vector ones don't exactly look that awesome, in my opinion. So, I'm going to go with the pixel art ones and do the transparent. And then, um, oh, I'm going to go with this one. Okay, this one just looks epic. Yeah. Wait. Hmm. No, all of these look really cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm just gonna save the image. Hello. Yeah, my computer's really laggy today. Wait, what? Oh, okay, there you go. Space sheep. Boom. Now I just gotta upload it into Scratch. And I will leave a link to the spaceship down below. Oh, no. Never mind, I won't. This spaceship will not work. You know, just, I forgot to do the transparent thingy, even though that's there, that really doesn't do it. Um, then I guess I could go, with this. this looks more like an enemy ship, though. Uh, so hard finding ships. Maybe if I search up GIF? I'll give me a flame effect too. Tools, color, transparent. Maybe. What is this? Ooh, this looks nice. What is this one? Okay, this also looks nice. But, okay, this one also looks nice. Except it has that firing effect, and I don't really want that. Nope. Uh, yeah, that works, but... You know, I want something cooler. It looks really good. So... Maybe instead of searching up GIF, I just... Do spacious pixel art and then tools color transparent and then maybe I'll just go with this one this one also looks really cool <gasps> this one is exactly what I'm gonna go with this one okay this one looks just super cool yeah I'm gonna go with this one save image and I'm just gonna call it unnamed too I can change the name in scratch so, yep, upload it. Boom, that looks really cool. Spaceship, I'm gonna call it. And now, I actually want to have one costume that's idle and another costume that's fled. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get rid of the flame for now. And I'm gonna just convert to bitmap and Turn this thing extremely tiny. 
Um, cause this is, that's the only way to do pixel art in Scratch 3.0. You gotta turn it extremely tiny. You gotta zoom in a ton. Yep. And you can see half of the ship just straight up disappears, which is not good. Maybe I zoomed in a little bit too much. Yeah, I did. Okay. I think that much might be enough. And then... We just go on the paintbrush, set the paintbrush, set the brush size to one. And then I'm I'm going to do no fill because I want to get rid of the flames. Wait, no, then I don't have a backup. So I will duplicate this now. And then just set that to one. Now do that. Okay, um, so once you have that, I have my idol costume and my flame costume. So now in the code, wait, spaceship. Okay, so now in my code, we can do one fly clicked, uh, forever, and then add a broadcast, start. Why are we doing this? Well, it'll make it a lot easier um, to do the pixel art when we get on. Uh, not the pixel art. Oh my gosh, to do the uh, main menu when we get onto that. So yeah, and then um, we can do when I receive start. Set size. Set size to size. To no, one hundred is way too tiny like 300 maybe yeah 300 i'm gonna go with 300 so set size to 300 um and then you want to make two variables let's delete this um smooth turn and then smooth oh gosh smooth movement so smooth turn and smooth movement. And then you wanna add a uh, if, and then just add a bunch of ors. Or, 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 or. or. Yeah, and why are we adding this? Because we're going to do if key right or left or up or down or right. Oh, gosh. No, wait. Down or... Did I add up? Okay, I did. Now, if he, um, A, no, D. D, where's D? Because I'm also going to add WASD controls. So, yeah. D, A, W, S. Boom. Well, we don't need this last or, but once you have that, wait, put this whole thing inside of a giant if else loop. So just drag the whole thing out, put it inside of a giant if else loop, then do switch costume to flames, else switch costume to idle. Now, if you press any of those keys, you're gonna notice that it turns to flames, and then when you don't press anything, it's not gonna do anything so now you want to also add another one I receive start and do if key then add an or if key right arrow you know I'm just gonna duplicate them from here if key right arrow key pressed or so, yeah. all right if key right arrow key pressed or key D pressed 
then you want to set smooth i mean change smooth movement but, oh wait no you know what i forgot to create a my block you need to make a my block and so we need to label this part movement all right and then add movement then we need to add a label and call it turn and add an input call it turn and add a label call it friction then add an input and call it friction and now you're gonna have this giant move yeah yeah that my block you can just drag that into there and then right up here when it says that you just wanna right up here set <clears throat> movement to wait you know what right there okay. movement to 10 maybe turn one and then friction 0.9 okay so then you want to change smooth movement by movement and then duplicate this and then do if he left arrow pressed or if he a pressed wait change the smooth movement by smooth turn and then um take get rid of these and change these to turn because we're going to be turning with the arrow keys of wasd and then do that and then do if and then Change these to smooth movement first. Oh wait, in this right here, you want to add a division sign and a multiplication sign. So you want to do, oh gosh, turn multiplied by negative one divided by three. And now over here for smooth movement, um, we're going to change smooth movement by turn. And obviously, this is going to be up arrow key, which is also going to be W. No, not V. W. And then the down arrow key or the S key, which is going to be smooth movement by turn times negative one. Yeah. Now, you're going to notice still nothing happens, except for the change of costumes. So now, we're also going to do move 10 steps. And by move 10 steps, I mean move smooth movement steps. And then turn right by smooth turn. But, we we'll also need to set um, smooth turn and smooth movement to friction. So yeah, and now you're going to notice, wait, what? It's not working. It's only spinning around in circles. What? Oh yeah, and another thing I forgot to mention is that you should not do that. And you should turn your sprite to the right. And that is very crucial so turn to the right boom and now i don't know what's wrong here let me i'll be back okay guys that was an extremely simple fix you just need to do smooth movement times friction um yeah i don't know why i forgot that but now what you're going to have is extremely smooth movement. I mean, like, look at it. Also, let's change this from 10 to 0.9. I know, right? Seems boring, but it doesn't affect anything. And it just makes your movement a whole lot smoother. So, yeah. Oh, uh, guys, so that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time, so peace out.